Well, welcome back to Packstage up here this morning. we got Grayson with Tallahassee uh, Animal Service Center. And joining us this morning is Risa, a foster mom yes. for Kenna. Correct. Our pet of the week, a sweet little girl. And she's been with you for about six weeks now. Yes, she has. About tell six us, weeks. Tell us a little bit about her personality. Oh, my goodness. If I had one word to describe her, she is a goofball. <laughs> she is so cute. She has the one little ear that, that uh, flaps. Unfortunately, she came to the shelter heartworm positive. Mm -hmm. And I watched her because I volunteer there, and nobody came for her. And it probably was because of her heartworms, so I agreed to foster her. And I'm just passionate about fostering heartworm-positive dogs because you literally save the dog's life. Now and she's been healed, and she's ready for adoption. And, and looking for a fantastic home. How yes. do you deal with, with kids and other dogs? Uh, she loves children. I've had her back at the shelter for events, and she um, licks them. She's great with my cats. The wonderful thing about fostering is that you're in a home environment, so you can give a, a, a potential owner uh, your, your own experiences. She's great with my cats. I have five cats. She loves to play with other dogs. The great thing about Kenna here is that she's not much of a barker, and mm -hmm. I think for some people that might be um, a real a attractor. Plus. Yeah, definitely. it's a big plus. plus. Definitely. Quite a snuggle bunny, too. Loves to sleep in the bed. <laughs> you, were, you were mentioning that earlier. She's a little bit warm. She likes to be right next to you. Yeah, she does. Let me, Grace, and ask you real quick, yeah. too, because obviously we've, we get a lot of pets on that mm -hmm. are heartworm positive. Mm -hmm. It's not a death sentence or it's anything not. like that. There is help to help families. How much of a commitment is it to adopt a heartworm positive? It Essentially, the treatment can take anywhere between two and three months. Um, the veterinarian can kind of talk you through it, um, but I think the biggest thing is once they actually start the treatment, um, you can't, you need to leash walk them only because once that treatment starts, it's important that they're not over exercising um, as those heart, adult heartworms start to break up. Do you want this cookie? And usually are they kind of pill-based treatments or is it a lot of actually, how hands-on? Yeah, it's an initial treatment at the vet's office um, of injections of the medication um, and then it's at home rest and of course subsequent follow-ups with the veterinarian. And there's, of course, support there. Now, what is her adoption fee? Uh, she would be 25. Perfect. And we'll yeah. have much more information up on our website. Again, a lot of dogs and puppies and cats and kittens out there. Tallahassee Animal Service Center looking for a good home. And real quick, you guys had a big event over the weekend. We, we did, yes, yeah, Saturday and Sunday, and it was fantastic. I think the numbers were in the 40s um, of dogs, cats, kittens, and puppies that went, and uh, we had a great turnout from the community, so we thank everybody for that. Fantastic. Yeah. So many animals still looking for a caring home. Hopefully you can uh, take one home. We've got all the details up on our website, hey. WTXL. Hey.